Hey everybody, this box just showed up at my doorstep today. It contains something that I bought on eBay, obviously, and we're gonna check it out right now on Eric's Trains. So from my knife collection, we'll be unboxing this with a knife that I just bought a few days ago. This is a Civivi Wyvern. Very cool looking knife. So let's crack it open and see what's inside. So I've always wanted one of these and I got it because I want to do a video at some point in the future that covers the company that manufactured what you're about to see. It's nothing super rare or super exciting. It's just something that I've always wanted. So it's something made by Weaver Models. And there it is. So this is one of the Weaver Models Troop Hospital cars. It's the three rail rendition. Now after Weaver went out of business in 2014, I think, Atlas inherited the tooling for these cars and they've made them since then. And I've always wanted to get my hands on one of the original Weaver Troop Hospital cars because at some point in the future, I want to do a video that documents Weaver models, all about the kind of stuff they made. Because now that they're gone, a lot of people in the hobby might not even know who Weaver Models was. But Weaver was a maker of O-scale trains for a long time. And when they went out of business, some of their tooling went to Lionel and some of their tooling went to Atlas. I believe Atlas got all the overseas tooling and Lionel got all of their American tooling. Lionel eventually turned the Weaver tooling into the Lion Scale product line. I can get it out of here without breaking it. There we go. And there it is. Looks great. I've heard these cars were susceptible to some sort of warping damage, but this one seems just fine, other than having some specks of styrofoam on it. Very cool. Nice underframe detailing, and it is lighted because it's got the pickup rollers. It's got a nice weight to it, it's very heavy. Very cool. So here's the Weaver built model alongside the more recent Atlas built model. And you can see they're virtually identical. So Atlas did a really good job of reusing the X Weaver toolings. Different road name and paint scheme, obviously, but the model itself is virtually identical. Really, the only major difference I can find is in the trucks, and that's because it's an Atlas truck versus a Weaver truck. I actually like the Weaver trucks a little better because they're a little more hefty and they fill out the bottom of the car better, but the Atlas trucks do roll more freely, and so they're probably easier for locomotives to pull. But yeah, they did a fantastic job recreating those Weaver models. Now, Atlas also did this paint scheme and I've ordered one of these, but I don't have it yet. But they also did more modern paint schemes like CSX. And that's because obviously when the army was done using those cars back in the day, the railroads rebuilt and repurposed those cars for different uses. And that's what we have here. I've dimmed the room lights a bit to better show off the interior lighting in each of these cars. And you can see there is a difference. And that's because since the Weaver model is older, it uses incandescent lighting whereas the Atlas model was upgraded to use the more modern flicker-free LED lighting, which does have a lot of benefits. You don't get any gosh awful flickering. It's also less power hungry and they last longer. But I must admit the incandescents do have a nice warm feel to them. Although you could use warm white LEDs if you wanted to, but in this case, Atlas decided to go with the more sterile bright white LEDs. Now, looking at these cars with the lights dimmed, I can now see that the Atlas car actually has some interior details that the Weaver car does 
does not. So let's open these up and compare them. Yeah, so here's the Weaver interior versus the Atlas. Now, for all I know, Weaver may have had interiors for some of their troop cars, but not this one. And it's pretty cool that Atlas has gone ahead and put an interior in this car. I like that. And while we're in here, let's take a look at the lighting changes. And they're actually kind of cool. So this is the layout of the Weaver lighting. They've got these six incandescent lamps spaced out like you see there. And what Atlas did is they sort of kept the same spirit with the lighting. They just modernized it. So you can see the board looks very much the same. The labeling is very much the same. And they're spaced out in the same pattern. They've just been upgraded to flicker-free LEDs. Again, I like that, very cool. Yeah, so I'm really happy I was able to find one of the original Weaver versions of this model because among other things, it really showcases the great job that Atlas did in recreating these models. They really kept the legacy of Weaver alive by doing such a terrific job. And that's why when it was announced that Atlas acquired some of the MTH locomotive toolings, I was really happy because in my mind, those locomotives cannot be in better hands than with Atlas because I know that Atlas is not gonna cut corners to save money. They're not gonna half-ass them. They will do those models justice. And when Atlas releases the first XMTH locomotives, and if I'm not mistaken, I think those are gonna be the 44 tonner and the SD40 to start off with, I guarantee you those models will be amazing because that's what Atlas does. Those models will be just as good or better than the original MTH models. Anyway, I'm going to wrap things up by taking this new car for its first spin around the layout. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to support this channel, I would greatly appreciate it. That can be done through Patreon at patreon.com slash ericstrains. I'd like to put a big thank you out there to all of my current Patreon supporters. Your support means the world, not only to me, but to the future of this channel. And if you're not a Patreon supporter yet. Patreon supporters get all sorts of perks and benefits, and you can read about those benefits on my Patreon page. And finally, if you'd like to buy an Eric's Trains t-shirt or anything else I might be selling, check out the Eric's Trains online store at ericstrains.com slash store. Anyway, that's it for now. Enjoy the ride. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is the tower. Starter up and stand by to pull.